My name is Sylvania Ambani and you are watching an extra. Today my guest on the show are Shiro. How are you girl? Hi, how are you? Good. It's been a while. Yes, it has. It has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't exactly agree with that sentiment, but I will agree on air. It Why? Why don't you agree with it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you even created a mathematical table and counted everything. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you guys know Elvis coming back from uh, sources coming to us telling us that he has been, uh, you know, sunbathing in the beaches of Miami. He said that his close location. Oh my area. goodness. And I have a theory that when people do not disclose their locations, <laughs> it's because they have a bay and a wife. <laughs> and one are not supposed to find out where. Oh my are. goodness. We will, uh, we will venture into that. I will not confirm the other demand. This allegation. Yes. Anyway, guys. Uh, there's something that is causing an uproar on social media. Do you, I, I hope you guys remember the 100 shilling couple. I don't know why we call them that. 100 uh, shilling couple. I don't find yeah, it because, so good. <laughs> but can't we use their names or something? Okay. Okay. Um, they came to Kenyans and uh, they didn't actually come to Kenyans. Kenyans went to them, you know. They were celebrating their union, which cost a uh, hundred shilling, and everybody just came out and started helping them in one way or the other. They even had a very grand wedding um, at the end of it all, uh, including a well wisher who went ahead to open a supermarket for, for them, a sort of a supermarket that is uh, fully stocked. And uh, according to the well wisher, is that uh, he paid three months' uh, rent in advance for the shop. But what is happening now is uh, Wilson Muchura say, has said that uh, he had to sell everything and close the shop because he could not have, you could not help afford to maintain the, you know, paying the, the rent and everything. So he is back to his uh, earlier, you know, business of selling fruits on the streets of Nairobi. And guys on social media were just, you know, everybody was commenting differently and everybody was so opinionated about this. Mm -hmm. The question I want to ask, I'll start with you, Elvis, is, uh, is this, uh, <laughs> I'm coming to you, Shiro. <laughs> is this the, the, the true meaning of the, of the word, uh, what people say, you, you do not give someone the fish, mm -hmm. but teach them how to go fishing? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think you, 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 you know, put it out uh, correctly. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, we, we love giving us care. Yes. Uh, we, we are easily displayed. Uh, I think most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, look at the story of Hideri Man. Uh, this is such a beautiful story. Yes. A humble couple that was broke. And, um, you know, they were in love and they spent the little that they have to, to make their dreams come true. And, and, and if indeed we want, if indeed we wanted to help, I think then we could have helped in, in making them understand the long-term plans of all these investments and all this money that we were churning out mm -hmm. and giving them. Mm -hmm. Because most of the times we are giving people money that they didn't have, that they've never dreamed of having. Yes. And they have no plan or nobody has done, you know, basic research on, on, on understanding number one, the market of where you're putting the business, yes. the people handling the business, mm -hmm. and a lot of things. And I think the mistake is not theirs, the mistake is ours. In terms of how much time did we invest in helping these people understand that this is a business that we want to start for you, mm -hmm. this is the plan, and, and you know, even testing their capability on, you know, are they able to sustain it? But if not, mm -hmm. then let's just leave them with a hundred shillings and let them continue asking. Because then we are elevating them. And then now when we start coming down, mm -hmm. we start now, you know, complaining. Complaining. Yes. But before I, I get to you, Shiro, for me, someone would argue that, um, you know, okay, this is Kenyans came out out of their own free will yes. to do this. Yes. At the end of the day, what, I, what people expected was for them also, you know, to meet them by half. Wilson is, is a young man, very energetic. What is making him or stopping him from, you know, coming out to become this person who can be able to there's, there's handle there's, this there's, kind of... There's a reason why people go to business. There's a big reason why people are taught how to do business. Business is not something that anybody can do. Mm -hmm. okay. It has its challenges and lots, most of the time it has lots of challenges. 
the story is not always good. You all, we, we were, somebody opened for us a shop, and the next time we open, a, we open a bunch of zip. No. And, and, and you know, it, it's partly, you, you have a point. Mm -hmm. It's discouraging that they're giving up in just three months. Yes. You know, I don't see an effort, because most business actually, they take up to six months for them to even start, you know, Yanze Kujinipo. Yes. And so, partly on his part, you know, I blame him, but also I blame the, the givers. Shiro, finally. <laughs> yes. Um, I found this story to be a great representation of some of the racist tropes in the channelists. The Kenyans don't know how much racism is in the channelists. Because this is a model, the way we treated the couple mm -hmm. was that they had a 100 shilling wedding. They spent 100 on their wedding. We decided that was bad. We decided, they didn't say their wedding was bad. They didn't come to the media. Somebody from church, their church, took the photo and decided it was a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And so we decided we needed to fix a situation that nobody said was a problem. Mm -hmm. What are you fixing? So that's the exact thing what people do. They come, then you get something you do well, you have to do this. No, you know, everybody has the lives they need to cultivate, everybody has the education they need for the survival of the area within which they occupy. And then you're told, no, 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 no. You guys need an airplane and a road and a government and you need Sure, but, but I want to believe, let me interject, let me interject for a minute, but I want to believe that we all aspire to something. You feel if your aspirations are your aspirations. Mm -hmm. This guy was happy sending fruits. There's no sin, no shame, no blame in sending these fruits yes. and having a wedding with 100 children and doing the things you want to do. If you have aspirations for having a 5 million of wedding, mm -hmm. don't put them on someone else mm -hmm. and then wonder why they didn't do so well with your aspirations. That was your part. Mm -hmm. Why are you so bothered? Mm -hmm. The store that you can gain capital to go back to these fruits. Fruits is something he knows. So, I mean, we don't, we have no, now that we're talking about dreams and big dreams, <laughs> we have no, we, we have no, we have nothing to tell us that he's not headed towards becoming the next king. Let me tell you, let me. Or the next, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, mm -hmm. he's just gone back to what he knows, but now with a little bit more money. Yes. And I feel like that would have been the best thing to start with in the beginning. In the beginning. And also, again, sorry. Now, the stupidity, the height of stupidity. Wedding planners came and decided yes. that they, yeah, they're going to spend a lot of mm -hmm. money on a couple that spent a hundred bob on their wedding. And for me, I found that a business move because what's wrong with having a Definitely. It, yes. So you come and you make, you tell Kenyans that there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you program our site to imagine that we need a more expensive wedding, and we need a flashier kind of life, or we need to do better than fruits in the market. <laughs> and then you come and tell us we have failed, we yes. don't give up to your standards. You and your standards take your feet. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> It happens all the time when corporates you know, take advantage of people that are trying to Is it taking advantage? Yes, that's taking advantage. Mm. Because you're doing it for your own people. Yes. You're not even doing it for the benefit of that person. If yeah. you're doing it for the benefit of that person, the first thing they would have asked him is, how can we help your fruits business? Not, how can we start for you another business which we think is good for you? Okay, let me read a few comments from guys who co uh, saw this story and uh, commented on our site. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the this, this story is on uh, Nairobi News website. Please go check it out at nairobinews.co.ke but uh, one Wangari Eliza was saying surely I just blame the couple even if I win a Prado right now uh, whether I know how to drive or not Hayezi Lala Kwa Barabara Mutura wants to tell us Hana Watuwao even friends church members who would help out uh, I'm just thinking the man is lazy selling 200 is not the problem all businesses start even with zero sales zero profits problem of eating free money he needs to toil toil what he was toiling before you came he, he told him there's something wrong but but he since toiling. he was or he already has a background he's a businessman he's an entrepreneur with his fruits business what was the problem of, of translating that 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 uh, that education he has to this 
you know, I, I, I'm a businessman, mm-hmm. is a businessman, but you're not on the same level you know, of calling with, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> not as well as, let's say, Chris Kenobi. Yes. There are different levels of entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. He was in his name, doing his thing, calling him that he was to improve his thing, go to the next level, bend his steps. They could have said, no, we don't want it. Why didn't they say, say no? But you say, on the other hand, no, no, no. <laughs> you say, thank you, no, 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 no. we are okay. Let me tell you why I don't agree with that. Yes. Because here's the thing. If I come here with a camera crew, okay, okay, we're already on camera, but let's say I come with a different camera mm-hmm. and a birthday cake for you and da, 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 and all these other things and like this bamboozle and festival mm-hmm. and everybody looks excited but it's not your birthday mm-hmm. and I say happy birthday <laughs> and I bring you flowers and there's a dancing crowd will you say no this immediately. is immediately you probably will not you know why you won't say no you know why you won't say no uh-huh. because you're already feeling like oh okay these people have done so much yeah. let me just agree to the birthday and then I can scale down with all this fanfare mm-hmm. on my own in private when they leave. That's probably what happened. We showed up with a wedding, with dresses, with a location, with money, with plot, with a limo. But this did not paper, happen camera. Did not happen at once. Did, this did not happen at once. It doesn't have to happen at once for you to work on the same scale. Mm-hmm. Like um, if we put you in the limelight, we're not going to a lot of times like you you guys work in media i don't mm-hmm. but i feel like a lot of times i see personalities who've been put in the you know are, are making the news for for are making the news don't make the news for one day a lot of times with such stories they make yes. the news for like two weeks three weeks sometimes a month and then you know we'll have like a once a week update after that on how they're doing and then the story will die down and then like now they've fallen from grace and we're back to talking about them so evidently it's not a one day affair but at the same time it is still a lot to handle from your usual life i and feel the ones who told them i feel to do it i feel with 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 all it. that you have said shiro with all that that you have said i agree with most of what you have said but i also feel that they took they took this opportunity for granted ask me why it's like you said they never asked for it but it was presented to them and they didn't have a choice but also they made a choice and decided to accept it at the end of the day how many youngsters are out here just waiting for that one golden opportunity for someone to just help them with something so small but to make them turn they want waiting for, for them to turn it into something own. into something big i i, w- I wish wilson I, I i i wish he could have done you know something <laughs> greater <laughs> Sometimes you're going to put money into something yes. and you get that money back. Yes. It doesn't mean that project is bad. Yeah. That project of the 100 feeding couple was not a bad project at all. Mm-hmm. But it didn't mean fixing. You know, they didn't come to us. We went to them. So it's not blame. I think that's how Kenyans are wired. We always yeah. like to help guys. Yeah. 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 And see where we went wrong. So we don't make the same mistake with the next couple. We did it. We did that, right? Now that you've said we really do need to move on to the next step. <laughs> but right before we conclude, the, the problem in and of itself is that we are looking at human beings as a project, as mm-hmm. a thing we need to upgrade, mm-hmm. not as beings like ourselves who yeah. are enough mm-hmm. in and of themselves intrinsically. Mm-hmm. That in itself is a problem. We are rude. Mm-hmm. We stuck up mm-hmm. rude. Anyway, that's our opinion. What say you?